Hello and welcome back. Today we are playing Greece in Victoria 3. Last episode wasn't an episode, it was just a bad dream. Last episode, which didn't happen, uh, we passed democracy in Greece, terrible, and then we couldn't form... We could not form uh, Byzantium because a part of the, one of the conditions in order to form Byzantium is that you have to maintain your non-democratic status. You have to have a king. And so we made a horrible mistake in our dream, which didn't happen, of passing democracy in Greece, which why would you have democracy in Greece? That doesn't make any sense. Terrible. And so this episode, we will be forming Byzantium and we will not be going democratic until perhaps after we form Byzantium, but not before that. And um, we will be dealing with the Zulu uprising. Now, we've got a couple things going on. We're moving and making deals. We're wheeling and dealing. We're on wealth voting, so maybe we should have stayed on oligarchy, but we'll stay on wealth voting for now. We're not gonna pass parliamentary republic, uh, but instead maybe we wanna get off of religious schools or local police force, this type of thing. We're on proportional taxation, so we're kind of cranking up as far as the construction goes. Uh, but I think we'll go on to private schools. Uh, notably, I think that they... I haven't paid close enough, close enough attention, but this seems like a decent amount of education access based on wealth. Um, so let's go to private schools. Um, and this will also notably empower the intelligentsia, who are going to be important and critical. It's going to be critical we get them happy, and then it's also going to be important um, that we get them above 20% clout, because this will double the bonus. 50% migration attraction will be nice for our ability to siphon off pops from Big Daddy, that's Big Daddy Germany, um, who's now, you know, doing dad things with his dad bod. This is a dad bod if you've ever seen it. You may not like it, but this is what peak Victoria 3 country looks like. And we crush the secession. Uh, whenever we're evaluating how much money we're making, we always have to do this plus this, so we're making a nice little bit. I think we'll have to do our handy dandy smacky waggy button here, uh, which of course we will. And we'll reset the PMs here. And we'll just keep on keeping on. Um, it has been a few uh, days since we last played. I think we'll incorporate this as well. And so we are also um, kind of trying to ease back into things. We did just finish the war. Um, I think that we will need a lot of our infamy in order to, you know, be taking stuff off of them. And so the party will never end. And so we will not be wanting to do too many big wars. Uh, let's check with the uh, kebab in regards to uh, when our truce is up. Dad, of course, helped us out with the last one and is up in 67. So we got four years. Uh, you know, we're going to chill. We're going to make some money moves. But for the most part, we're just uh, not going to do anything too, too crazy in that interim time period because we do want our infamy to decay. I'm just making a quick look around, making sure we did grab all the important states. We might go after Nejd. So we're going to damage relations uh, with Nejd. And we are also going to damage relations with Transvaal and Orangey uh, because very often they'll improve relations with you and then you can't start a war with them. So this will prevent that from happening because uh, we want to be able to start a war with them. We're just kind of trying to keep an eye on... How things are going i think we will need a bit more construction we're taking a look here we are incorporating all these boyos uh let us we've newly conquered take a look at institutions i think we will want higher level law enforcement the reason being is that these places have a decent amount of turmoil so we will suffer pretty significantly for state construction efficiency and if we can reduce that that will be nice we will unlock some jene ecole uh je suis une chat and we will be off on that. Let's take a look at what we're currently doing with it. We will need to turn on chemical bleaching stuff. We're going labor movement. Okay, this is fine. This is nice. Uh, I assume we're doing that mainly because we are trying to get... Uh, let's talk about this in just a second. For now, we turn on PMs so we don't forget. Um, but I assume we are doing this... Ooh, we get private schools. Big nice. Uh, we are doing it mainly because we want this interest group to no longer be marginalized, and that will improve their attraction by quite a bit once we get that law. Uh, now, we could go dedicated police force, mm, but we could not. Actually, I'm, I think this is fine to go dedicated police force here. Uh, local police force notably does give uh, a bigger minus state penalties from turmoil, uh, which is actually, no, we're going to stay on this for now. Um, I think that it's okay for now, and it will be uh, kind of nice. We will want to get on to uh, guaranteed libs, though, and so for that we will want to go over here and eventually go rights of assembly. So maybe we do that now. Radicalize the Orthodox Church. Let's see if we can get that in. Squeeze that in here. Let's take a quick look at our industries. We got a lot of clothes and a lot of tools. This is kind of where we want it to be. Uh, this is part of the big plan. 
Grandmaster plan. Uh, we will use harvesting tools. It is one of the best uh, PMs. Looks like we're slowly turning these up, so we won't do that all immediately. Although we do want to do it in order to avoid subsidies. So if we're paying subsidies, we want to engage in that uh, sort of behavior. Looks like we're doing pretty good here. Okay. <clears throat> so we are decaying infamy. We are not infamous. I don't think we have any subjects. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, we have dominion over El Salvador. So maybe we want to annex El Salvador. So let's take a look. So this is only going to give us 3.2 infamy. This is going to be relatively nice. Someone can stick their finger in our pie though. We're not a huge fan of that. Uh, we don't think that they will, but they might. Uh, so we'll take a quick save. And we will be annexing them. Uh, this will be a nice little low infamy play. Uh, relatively speaking, actually, you know what? We're not going to do it. I lied. I would much rather take this dirt uh, than do that. Uh, and so we will wait. Or even orangey dirt. Probably orangey dirt's better. Um, ooh, we can also colonize now. Rest in peace, our colonial ambitions. We can get in now here, especially if we get uh, malaria prevention and move that kind of that direction. I don't think we have that tech currently. I suppose we can take a little bit. Yeah, so we were going to try and work towards it. Hmm, central banking will be okay. Modern sewage would also be okay. Let's take a look here. Don't hate going Bessemer process. Um, and just trying to push the... Uh, the production techs in general so we can get into the tier 3 stuff. Uh, let's take a look at how tall we have built in some of these places. Um, notably this is, yeah, we don't, we're not currently hitting like max economies of scale throughput bonus and we are having uh, some difficulty getting some pops. And so maybe we want to kind of go towards multiculturalism as much as we can in terms of what our research is going, which is going to be kind of cruising through a lot of these tier two techs. And so maybe it is going to be, you know, like something like central banking, central archives, etc. eventually getting settled towards human rights. Um, yeah, so this is kind of, I guess, the plan now. Um, we are, of course, uh, waiting, playing a little bit of a waiting game uh, in that we are trying to get in on the Ottomans. Uh, of course, we are waiting on 67 uh, for 1867. Um, El Salvador. We clicked on the wrong country. We They are paying us war reps in 1867. Italy wants a defensive pact. This is intriguing. Uh, I think we say no. Though. And now let's get guaranteed liberties, which is going to be big nice. We are going to be short on the bureaucracy, so maybe we do want to kind of next up research central archives. In order to try and deal with this. See, Orangey is improving relations. We're damaging relations. They won't be able to get into positive relations to avoid a war with us. So we are making, picking up like around 30k-ish. Kind of having a big pop-off here. And so we will want to continue pushing economies of scale in several industries. Uh, notably, wood is really good. But we are kind of going to be very quickly just kind of fleshed out on wood completely. We don't really want to produce here. If, I'm rec if I recall... Oh, we don't have any... Ah, we're going to build up some wood here in Macedonia. We do, we no longer have uh, any sort of uh, turmoil, so we don't have a penalty. We're going to put this on auto-expand. They'll specialize the food industries here, and it'll help them to just have one industry, because uh, when it's profitable, it'll just expand. Uh, see, this has turmoil of 30%. We get minus 40% state construction efficiency. We don't want to push the construction there. Um, and so... Notably, uh, the law enforcement is helping on that front, though. We will... I think we already put that on auto-expand. Cool. Uh, we are just checking around. See, turmoil. And turmoil. More turmoil. All the turmoil. All the time. We are making a lot of money now. So, let's come in. And we don't have... We're just going to slap down three, four of those in, in Macedonia. Um, I think we can eat that bureaucracy cost for now. We are going to need to deal with it in the future, though. Let's take a look. We have an isolated region. Zululand? Really? thought we had a port here. Why is this isolated? What? So I know why this is isolated. And I know why that's isolated. Why are you isolated? You have a port, my guy. What's going on here? All 
right, we'll just turn that up and see if it changes anything. Weird. Why do you have no access? Is there a rev? Why do you have no access to the German market, my guy? I'm so confused. Color me very confused. I think this is bugs. I don't understand. I'm so confused. What if we build another port, I guess? Why is this isolated? This is like a weird sort of bug. Uh, that's going to be weird to resolve. Uh, because... I think it's still treating it as if it was owned by the other country? I don't even know. This is not big nice. This is big sad. Hopefully when we build this other port, it fixes it. Or maybe it's something else I don't understand. Let's come in here and take a look at German market. Okay, why don't we have access? Is it gonna tell us? No, it's not. That won't help us. We just have 0% market access for whatever reason. Very not ideal. We get guaranteed libs, man, just luck sacking first roll each time. Uh, which is a very nice institution, but now we're running negative bureaucracy, so we will kind of need to build some government admins. We will build it in the capital of Thessaly. We'll put two at the front of the queue, and then we'll scratch our head a little bit. We will be trying to push these economies of scale through put bonus on the tooling workshops and the textile mills in general, although they're not very profitable right now. Um, we, If you build it, they will come eventually. Uh, we are getting some positive migration attraction here, uh, and part of it is being driven by available employment. And so um, these buildings will also just be way more efficient. But we'll push these, because those are currently profitable. But why are, okay, why do we have no progress as well? I am so confused. Do we need to have an interest in the region? Why do we not have a native interest in the region when we have control of this? This is all kinds of weird. All kinds of strange, like it did not return to us uh, properly. Let's reset the PMs. Which of course might have been turning the ports up. Just very, very weird. I mean, I guess we might as well build some coal mines here, though. Okay, and now we are getting some colonization. We still have 0% market access, despite building a port. I don't know what to make of this. I guess we're going to delete these two ports. Yeah, I understand. And then we'll build another one. So hopefully that fixes the problem. We'll see. We are making a decent amount of money. Uh, we are approaching 67, which is going to be big nice for taking dirt from the Ottomans. Or taking more dirt from the Ottomans. Ideally, we would want to try and... See, this is something I've been I've thought about quite a bit, which is trying to focus force economies of scale in your rural areas. Generally speaking, you don't want to build rural goods. Uh, but if you can... I think there's probably a strategy where you put stuff on auto expand and you build into one thing specifically, and it's a good idea, but I'm not sure exactly in practice how that looks. Uh, hopefully we get market access once we finish this, and now we get access to the German market. Okay, well this is very nice. Big nice, as it were. Uh, now we will need uh, to finish, fill out these shortages. We're going to swap to cargo port. Uh, so that that will give a little bit of infrastructure and this is still getting over the shortage in terms of giving infrastructure So things should be okay, and we're just making a ton of money So we're gonna come in and we're gonna build a lot more construction. We're gonna go up to 200 here, I think uh, And we're going to try and build up a little bit in areas Let's just do that for now and then Minting loan interest rate is gonna be kind of nice Let's do that. Be off and away. Untrained hands. Didn't catch these hands, you know what I'm saying? 
Well, we don't, we are trying to get these interest group up uh, of the trade unionists above 5% uh, clout so we can get their bonuses. Their bonuses are really good and we will also need them to do some stuff. Uh, in particular, we will need them to go, uh, to be able to go human rights, which is maybe going to be pretty good. No defensive pact, no dice. We're one year off of being able to declare war on the Ottomans and forget our pain of last episode, which wasn't an episode, it was a nightmare, it never happened, where we had democracy as Greece, terrible. Um, I guess in the capital here we might want to... Here, let's take a quick look at our military stuff, because we are going to be declaring war in about a year, and so we want to be kind of in the right spot for it. I guess we're on the right PMs here, but we might want a bit of a bigger military. We also notably, Montenegro, I think is in Balkans as well. Macedonia is in the Balkans. Why don't we make that a multiple of five so we don't tear our hair out? We can make Montenegro a multiple of five as well. And this will get us up to 40 units, which will kind of be a good number, I think, uh, because it's nice and round, or sorry, 50 units, which is like extra round. Now let's take a look at our infamy. I think we're still, mm, so we do want to accrue a little bit of infamy. But not a lot of bit of infamy. I guess maybe we do want to go after this. I think we just want to take Aranji, though. Uh, let's see. Who has more gold discovered? These guys have no gold discovered. Orangey has a ton of gold discovered. So we'll take a save. And we're just going to annex Orangey. Um, could also go for the Dominion. I think we'll go for the Dominion as well as... Uh, just to keep the infamy a little bit low. Uh, that way we kind of stay at kind of zero infamy uh, by the time the Ottoman war rolls around or we should be kind of close. Uh, and hopefully no one sticks their finger in our pie as consequence, which, you know, happens sometimes. Uh, we will, of course, uh, try and ban slavery and open their market because this is often a war goal that uh, people will add against you. And we'll make both of these primary. We just... We want all these things, and we don't care if they back down or not. We definitely want Orangey to uh, uh, give us all these things. Um, that way, someone does not later join against us in order to ban slavery or open their market. We get a little, what is this? Free government reform, but we're not a we're a monarchy. God, we we still have a monarchy, so we can still give me anxiety there for a second. Um, let's see what we could do to be more legitimate. I guess we could just do this, just to be super righteous. We're not passing any laws right now that require the intelligentsia. We've kind of already got them all in place. I suppose we could go for property and women, but, uh, we'll just take uh, a little bit off here and get some more loyalists instead. Uh, just in case there's some weird front splitting, we'll actually send our second guy. Red Rover, Red Rover, send the other guy right over. Uh, we do want to be spending a lot more. The construction centers do not seem to be, uh, slowing our growth. We stop for no one. Um, we will put four down in Attica here. And we're just going to put them all down in places that do not have the turmoil. Um, which is what we're checking for here. More than anything. And I guess we'll just put down a whole lot more in the capital then. So we'll bring this up to 15. Now let's take a look here. We are collecting consumption taxes and resource industry and manufacturing industry. At some point, we do want to come off the resource industry in Peloponnese. Um, it is pushing the economies of scale. Let's just max this out. Gold fields depleted. Uh, unfortunate. Two arms. And now we are losing some money. Yeah, baby. Except we're not really... We're, we're losing a little bit of money. It's this number plus this number. We're losing about 11k. But we are at 200 construction, which is big nice. Not little nice. It's big nice. And you definitely... And we have a little bit of a buffer anyways. And so we will do that. Uh, we are notably building a bit of cotton. Uh, this is like antithetical to uh, what I generally uh, propose. But my hope is that since there will be a larger throughput bonus on the cotton here, that the cotton auto builds over the wheat. That's kind of the hope. Let's take a look at our trade routes and maybe get something done here. We are importing the ammo. We're importing a whole bunch of cotton. Let's see if we can import... Uh, well, actually, we kind of don't have a lot of government administrations, so why don't we cover that first? We'll put just three at the front, and this is patent stills and the other thing. So we'll just come up on this. 
Now, Tooling Workshop is going to have the best labor-saving PM. I suppose we do have the problem of labor in some spots. Specifically in the capital. Yeah, we're already using water to boil our big yikes. Don't have enough, quite enough labor in the capital is really the problem. Why don't we just take a quick look? Uh, because this... Oh, we are getting employment up. And we're kind of suffering on the employment here. So, let's see if we can just put in anything. So, water tube boiler is going to be great. Water tube boiler is going to be great here as well. Because the labor is so expensive. And we are using, uh, notably, this as well. And so, now we just have to wait a few months. And then we will be getting in on the Ottomans. And then in about five years, we will want to annex Orangey. But this way, we are entering the Ottoman War with about zero infamy. That way, when we take all the stuff, we won't be super high on the infamy. Uh, we're kind of doing okay in the money situation. Uh, we do have to expand what we're building. And we're going to also... So we're doing a little bit less than Stellar. Eastern Thrace is where we have some schools, but I don't think we're ready to turn the corner on that yet. Uh, the Millet Farms notably did do their thing. We're just going to set all these to auto-expand, which is going to help us out. We're going to set all these to auto-expand. This will be decent. I forgot what we were coming in to switch. Big not nice, not knowing what you're trying to switch. Philosophy departments will be... Ah, they won't be that good. I don't think we want to come up on uh, doing... We just want to push our economies of scale. We're at about 200 construction, kind of we're close-ish to the point where we want to do something, but uh, we're not quite at it. And I think our truce is up in April, May, July. And so we'll take a save on July and we will go for kebab. The war for, not democracy, because we hate that here, um, but uh, something else. The war to restore the empire. So July 3rd, the 3rd of July. We will be going for it, and we will ask for all of this. Northern Scrace, Scopia, and this over here. Oop, I don't know my months. Tragic. I thought we had it, we didn't. Uh, yeah, we're kind of coming in just perfectly on this infamy as well. Uh, it will be, like, exactly where we want it. Uh, and we are, war reparations are broken. Let's take a save, and let's go after them. Good thing we did not uh, have a defensive pact with Italy because uh, they are getting baguetted. Uh, but we will come in here, we will see, and we will say Dominion you. Now, that's... I mean... Actually, I low-key want to do this. This is funny as hell. It's not even that much infamy because they're not recognized anymore is the thing. Yep, they're unrecognized regional power. So if we Dominion them... We just have to let all this decay, but... Or we could... Okay, let's just take a look. Scopia is going to give us 6 infamy. Northern Thrace is going to give us 12. And then... Uh... What is this? This is going to give us... 2? That's really not a lot. So 12, 6, 2... So that's like 20. So for an additional 30 infamy, we're getting... Everything Dominion, which is notably includes, like, the really oil-rich region here. I mean, this is kind of dirty, but we're gonna see if we can maybe do this and get help. I have a stinking suspicion it will be hard for us to get help. Actually, we could just get Daddy to help us. So let's put in War Reparations. And ask for Daddy's assistance here. We can offer banned slavery. Perfect. Thanks, Dad. And then we will mobilize all the generals. And we will put them on fronts. Wow, thanks, Dad. <laughs> we wanted a pet. Alright. We are getting a pet for uh, Christmas. We'll put this on auto-expand. We're going to have one industry in each area, kind of just auto-expanding. We have tools in a couple, I guess. Um, I guess we'll do this... Well, we kind of don't... Well, we'll put this here for now. 
Um, we don't necessarily really want to be in on that, but uh, ooh, we could do paper here, furniture here. Uh, we are going to have the little bit of penalty uh, as far as uh, this turmoil goes, but uh, we will... Yeah. We want to play fast, not necessarily super min-max. Or there's multiple considerations at hand here. Can we, can we get a little bit more juice here? Well, they have nothing over here, so we might just promote this guy up. Uh, if this is how they're going to start this fight. Uh, we'll promote this guy up a little bit. Or we can just recruit another general in the Balkans HQ. And assign him over here. And this will be good. Because this is guy this guy's getting in through this guy's getting through free. Actually, why don't we put this guy here? And then this 10 stack we'll put over here. If they're going to distribute their army like this. This seems fine. Language of the classroom, you speak the main language. Assimilate. Populate. Okay. So yeah, this will just cruise right through. Don't know why allies are traveling over here, but we should be able to enforce on them relatively easy. We are subjugating Kebab, which is much better than our dream nightmare where we had democracy. Um, we are losing some money. It's not too terribly bad, but part of this is because we're no longer getting the war reps from Kebab, which we are soon to get in addition to the Dominion reps. And so this will be big nice. I'm not sure if we'll annex all of them or how much of them we'll annex um, when we form. Uh, Byzantium, but um, this is going to be something to discover for everyone. Uh, we will move this little seven stack over here because uh, they will be able to kind of, well, I guess it, we're getting a push off either way. Uh, and so, man, they're going to get enforced on so fast here. Thanks, Dad. Oh, what's this about? Oh, that's Germany pushing in. Perfect. We love to see it. This is a huge uh, boost to our power. You underestimate my power. I have the high ground. And we have a, like, a lot of infamy, but we can just let it decay for like the rest of forever. Uh, and we will be in decent shape. Um, we don't have our own market, so like one of the biggest advantages of having low infamy is that you get to expand your customs union. We're in daddy's customs union, so. Ooh, we get a Radical. Nice. Uh, and they are kind of up here in power, so why don't we try and make them happy here? So are we trying to pass anything right now? No. But we should be able to get on Poor Laws, which is going to make the trade unions happy. I think this is kind of one of the better ones we can go. While still maintaining legitimacy, and so we will get the manufacturing industry's throughput of 10%, which is quite strong right now because our throughput is not tremendously high, and we also get that. So, we will come in. I think we're just going to continue to push these tier 2 techs. Do we need nationalism to form Byzantium? I don't think so. So we're going to go modern sewage. Uh, we're going to try and push a little bit towards multiculturalism. Getting manufacturing industries throughput, but now we can do a bunch more trade routes, and so we will put in some trade. So we will look to import uh, agrarian-oriented goods. Uh, so we'll import this to the, from the Russian market. We care a lot about productivity, though, and the reason is is that um, this is inside Daddy's market, and so uh, we don't have a lot of convoys. We can get a bunch of really productive routes and make money. Um, off the roots. Uh, we also care about manipulating prices overall, but uh, we do care about the productivity more than we would if we were not inside daddy's market. And we also don't want to use a lot of convoys because we basically don't have any. So we will be kind of trying to import a lot of these inputs. And these inputs will also make our own industry. We have like a lot of clothing industries. So silk in particular uh, is probably, uh, or sorry, silk and dyes are the two things in particular we probably want to focus on. We'll import from Belgium. Daddy would import this, but he's a little busy fighting our wars for us. You know how it is sometimes. Your kid starts a fight with a bully, and then they can't finish the fight, so they go, Mwah, Daddy. That's kind of what's going on here. And we get kebab. 
All right, so we will kneecap them and we will take a save. Look at this, Germany as it was meant to, or sorry, Greece as it was meant to be. We're gonna take a save here and probably a screenshot and then we're gonna form Byzantium. Um, so this is pre-formation. Uh, we will make a little screenshot of our uh, great, great, uh, very fair empire, Greek empire. And then we will come in here Byzantium. Oh, we can form it. Let's see if it annexes. So this is something that's been a little bit inconsistent as far as the way things go. Uh, whether or not it full annexes the guy or not. And it doesn't annex them. Uh, it just annexes the territory that we would have wanted. Um, but I think it does it without conquest. So we get no, uh, what's it called? Um, turmoil from this. So this is actually really nice that we're not getting any turmoil. Uh, because it annexes it without conquest. So we will incorporate all this new territory, and then we will turn on uh, the in the government administration. We'll actually go through all of our PMs, but we're turning on in the, specifically in the government administrations. We're going to standardize filing system in order to get off of this. Except we probably don't want quite that much. Uh, I guess in Eastern Thrace we will stay on this, and we'll stay on it in a couple spots. And so that'll be a kind of a good amount there. We can also increase an institution here. Uh, why not education? That'll be nice. And then we are going to, da 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 da, Byzantium. Take another little screen here of Byzantium. And we will be resetting all of our PMs because they're all wrecked. And I don't want to use the smacky wacky button because uh, we kind of did a lot of things. I kind of want to go through this, make sure we're like in the right direction of everything we want, which is what we're going to do. And oh man, this is exciting. Byzantium has been formed. Notably, no democracy. We can go democracy now uh, after poor laws as well, um, which is, uh, we're not going to mess around with that. Those PMs specifically. Turn on smooth boards because it is profitable. Gas streetlights, sure. We're using daddy's goods. We're going to use that as well. We just uh, made that exactly how we wanted to, so we don't want to mess it up. And we will mainly focus on the farms here. We don't have any better PMs for, uh, what is it, uh, all the, uh, what is it, plantations? Or too many of the better PMs, so we'll just kind of switch all these on. We'll leave those as they are. We're going to, you know, clear this out uh, in terms of things, and we're going to swap that on, which is going to be big nice. Sawmills. Let's go, baby. And I think we wanted everything on rail transportation. You guys can move around within our market here. We're making a decent amount of money. Uh, a lot of it is coming from the Diplo Packs from the Ottomans here, where we're getting 22k from them. Uh, we will want to annex them eventually, but uh, for now they're just going to be our handy-dandy dominion in. Um, I suppose there would maybe be a situation where we could get them di diplomatically, but this is not it. Uh, we get a couple interests, which is nice. We can even declare another one ourselves. Um, not really sure where we want. Let's do Persia. Uh, not that I think we're going to really do anything with this interest, uh, or too much with this interest, but uh, we are making money now. So, let's come in and let's get some construction centers up in the newly integrated Scopia in Northern Thrace. And so that's going to be four here. Uh, four more construction centers. And now, now we go democracy. Now we go, now we go democracy? No, I guess we're going to need to reform the government a little bit. So we're going to put these guys in. And then now we are going to go democracy. Notably, the intelligentsia, getting them up to 20% clout will be big nice. We're going to try and go parliamentary republic. The landowners won't like it. We'll see if this is enough to cause a rev. And if it is, maybe we come back down. But we nicely also get the bonus from the trade unionist here in solidarity, which is going to be pretty good. And once we get on wealth voting and this, we should be in kind of a good situation to go multiculturalism as well. We are going to experience a bureaucratic shortfall, but this is not a problem at all. We'll see how big this rev is. This rev is quite big, but one, daddy's actually going to help us. And two, it's only getting five units, it's just getting this, which we can handle ourselves as well. And so we're fine with this rev popping off, and so we will have at thee, I suppose. All for the sake of democracy. 
which we didn't want democracy as Greece, but as Byzantium, it is right. Uh, I think we... Let's see how much the... So the industrials really like us, so we're going to do this because we want this guy to gain more popularity. Um, once he gets over 20% clout, this will be doubled, and we should be able to siphon off pops from Germany, which is going to be big nice. Looks like they don't know who's occupying who, who in that war. And, uh, well, I guess Italy was getting occupied because they got riggedy wrecked. Do have the little Byzantium kingdom. I think maybe we go for Marinostrum. So we will have to keep that in mind as far as how we are doing things. Because Egypt would be kind of a decent one to do next. What is this? Oh, it's a revolution. Huh. Terrible. Whatever will we do? We will, of course, uh, stop the rev. I don't even think we need to mobilize all our guys. Especially because Daddy's going to also send a, a force to clap this. So we will um, just let this happen. Don't worry, just let it happen. Uh, we will also take a look here in Skopje. And we will want to push the economies of scale bonuses here. Uh, towards the iron specifically, and also the wood. Ooh, big, nice. That's a big wood. You'll love to see some big wood here. And we'll focus on the resources here. And we notably uh, maybe don't want to re-put down on Peloponnese. Uh, notably, the resources here are looking a little bit better. Or maybe we just want a consumption tax now. I think that with the era of this... Uh, the era of encouraging resources is maybe over. And we're on consumption tax time. Hmm. Willahi is also going to be relatively nice to get grab probably because it has a decent amount of oil uh we might want to try and grab it diplomatically i'm not sure exactly when we want to get out from under um germany surely not now um but later perhaps or later definitely first we need democracy democracy in our time Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely think it was correct to, to Dominion them. That's kind of one of the bigger Dominions I've done uh, with the intention of eventually getting under 25 Infamy. Actually, that might be the biggest Dominion I've ever done because generally you just puppet uh, if you're going to incur a lot of Infamy and just go full Infamy, And that's but that's not the plan for us here. That is not the plan for us here at all. We're going to take a look at the text, what how things are currently looking. You know, I think now it might be the time for a school. So let's actually take a look. Where is our capital here? Is it still here in... Here? Okay, so we have a little bit of a choice, a little bit of an inflection point. Um, because we want to build a university up, I think, now. Uh, but I think we want it in the capital. But we already have a decent level uni here. How much do we care? I think we just try in 51 here. We leave the unis here. And we'll just slap down 10 unis here. We annex the aristocratic revolt. We'll come in with our smacky wacky button. And reset all those PMs to where they were before. We'll come in on the railway. We'll add a couple railways in some spots. And we should be in good shape. We are running a negative bureaucracy. So what we will do is we will find a place that we can turn up to standardize filing cabinets. And we'll also turn up to skirmish infantry everywhere. And where can we turn on these standardized filing cabinets? Eastern Thrace, standardized filing. Here, standardized filing. And now we're not running that negative. We complete central archives. Auto misses cabinet meeting. Printed in the presses. Let's go, baby. I do love bureaucracy, but I love tech even more, so there's all that. So, tragic, we couldn't get in on Messina. <clears throat> we do get the next level of education, which is nice. Let's take a look at our GDP. It's kind of doing good. Not doing extremely good. We, like, look more, way more caked up than we are, I think. Other side of the fence. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely take this. We want these guys happy, and we want them big. We want them juicy. Uh, 
Looks like, yeah, we are going to get on to Parliamentary Republic. We will be the Republic of Byzantium, uh, which, of course, loves democracy, unlike Greece, which hates democracy. We get Liberal Party. Cool. Let's take a look. This is our Liberal Party. They're over 20% clout, so now if we look at the Migration Attraction, it's plus 50%. So we don't have the Great Power Bonus of 25%, but if we look at this, we should be doing... Yeah, look at this Migration. Well, let's come in here specifically. We have uh, available jobs, right? Available employments of seven, which is not ideal, but we're getting 50% from the Intelligentsia, such that if we look at the heat map, you know, we should be able to pull off from Austria, which is very much kind of where we want to go. Notably, a ton are immigrating away from here, which is not ideal, I guess. Uh, I think we'll put this on auto expand, and we are going to look to kind of, um, Let's take a look at what's productive. I think we'll cancel these unproductive routes. Um, Daddy can, if Daddy wants, Daddy can solve the problem. We could maybe export steel, but let's not. Or sorry, iron. Um, I think I'd rather this. We are going to, hopefully we get Parliamentary Republic before the election, which would be nice. I think we're not really declaring any wars here for quite some time because people will often want to piggyback against us. Although Daddy won't, right? Daddy loves us. We could declare a war for independence here. Uh, I think there's no shot we win that. So, Bezimal process is nice. We will turn it on. It probably, oh, it's even profitable right now. Big nice. Often it will not be profitable, but like uh, you want to turn it on kind of in the longer-ish term. We are making a decent amount of money, um, kind of torn between wanting to lower taxes and also increase construction. I think we'll try and get to maybe 500-ish construction and 51 this before we do that. Um, or maybe 350 construction and also 51 the uni before we really uh, try and decrease the taxes some more. So we'll just add a couple more construction centers. This is going to be a nice one as well. So that's quite a few construction centers. That is a big come up. We are going to take a look here. Uh, we are pushing for human rights to go multiculturalism. And I think that... Dialectics is next, because we're starting to do the unis. Even though it is Nat spreading to us, we don't really care about trying to push, let the Nat spread happen. So we're just going to push this forward. And we are making a decent amount of money. It's this number plus this number, even post-construction center builds. So we will look to expand them even more and get up to 300-ish construction, I guess. Reinforced wooden ships, we might turn that on. It's not going to be profitable, but we might turn it on anyways, because we're terrible people. No, it's because of the ownership is better. So we're going to do that. And we get Parliamentary Republic. Big nice, which should recalculate some things. Uh, notably, these guys are way more popular now. And the landowner's clout goes to... Or, well, that was probably because the rev uh, brought them to nothing. And so I think we could even go universal suffrage right now. These guys are already radicalized. The industrialists hate it. But this is a good way to get the clout of the trade unions above 20%, and they in particular have the best bonuses. Um, alternatively, alternatively, uh, we could go census suffrage, which doesn't piss off the, uh, them anywhere near as much, has a similar effect. Um, so let's do that, actually. This way we get to maintain, we get to have our cake and eat it too. We get to keep the, the bonus of the industrialists, who are quite important at this current juncture, so... Uh, this will be nice. And we are... We having authority problems. So I guess we are going to end up stimming the economy anyways. Um, by getting rid of some of these. Which is effectively decreasing taxes. Which will, you know, drive up SOL. Which should decrease overall wages. Uh, we might have to deficit spend here for a while. That's what I anticipate. I guess not. Economies just can't be stopped. Can't stop, won't stop this economy. Of course, we are about to incur some more expenses with these unis. Um, which, you know, good timing on dialectics. We can also, of course, delete the unis over here. Which I think might be what we do. Um, because you really, really care about the throughput bonus. 
So let's actually delete these unis. We want them all in the capital. Um, we don't want to eat a bunch inefficiently. We'd rather just, you know, put a bunch here at the end of the queue as well. Uh, and so I think we in good shape here. I'm not 100% sure that's like correct, but it's the correct idea is you want to get the 51 throughput more so than having the unis split. And we get sense of suffrage. And then we are going to take ourselves a radical. Now, our trade unit is already a radical, so it's giving us a radical on the petite bourgeoisie. Um, and so this is going to be big nice. And now we can get some good events. Uh, we can get the open arms event, I think it's called, which gives 25% migration attraction, which will allow us to continue to pop off in terms of siphoning off from Germany. We will get rid of another consumption tax. And we get freedom of thought, the thought with word and the ideal. I think we will get, and this is going to add the new Colossus. We're going to take Uni throughput, which we're coming up now on the Unis, and the new Colossus event. Uh, we need to have freedom of conscience, and we have to enact multiculturalism here, uh, which is the thing. This is the what we're pushing towards in terms of tech. We are trying to push towards it without hemorrhaging a whole bunch uh, in terms of uh, going ahead of time. Uh, but we will be kind of coming on up and forcing the issue. Actually, our current max economy to scale throughput is 31, so I think we're just going to 31 this uni is what we're going to do. Uh, and then at the front of the queue, we are going to add some paper here. And we will have the paper auto expand here. And this will be good. Um, and we will be running a pretty steep deficit, I'm guessing, when this happens. We will probably see SOL climb a little bit. Uh, hopefully it's climbing mainly because uh, we got rid of a bunch of taxes more so than anything rather than normal wage increasing but we will see how things shake out uh, we of course are at super high infamy and so this is going to be this is where we're at for now um we do want to get over 300 construction before the end of the episode though we do like ourselves some big construction things i think that'll be roughly doubling construction which we are getting a ton of money from the kebab at this juncture uh, but then we will want to annex them, I think, uh, when we can in five years. Maybe we annex Orangey and don't mess with Kebab too much. I'm not sure here. We are getting mass migration from North Germany, which is going to be nice. Uh, this is going to help, uh, you know... Yeah, so this curve is starting to go up quite a bit now that we got a lot of things in place. You know, now that we have a powerful intelligentsia getting the 50% migration attraction from the propagandist. We got rid of some taxes. This started to climb. And so I think we're in really good shape here. You know, and we're not hemorrhaging. We're not really hemorrhaging money. Now we are, we do of course have another... 16 of these in the queue which is going to be the max economies of scale bonus up until the point where we get shift work which is going to increase it to 50. Uh, currently it's at 30 though. <sighs> We're about done here which is kind of makes me want to go shift work uh, here and like reinforce concrete and a lot of these really good techs in the tier 3. Um, I guess reinforced concrete is not like the be all end all at this point because we still have relatively cheap labor. I think we still want to push for multiculturalism. I think we're going to go pharmaceuticals here uh, into quinine. And yeah, we will do that. I think we are trying to get just work our way to human rights uh, in the tier by finishing all the tier two techs. Uh, but we will be in really good shape once we finish these unions. It would be very big happy if, uh, what is it, if our nat spread, our first nat spread is shift work. That would be delightful. Um, we should be getting up, up to the cap pretty quickly here. Uh, once we finish a couple more of these unis, which is going to be nice. A guy retires. Now we have a bunch of unis in the queue, so we'll see how things are looking after a bunch of these finish. We did build some paper proactively. I think we can maybe build a few more construction centers. Let's put them down in the capital. I think that'll bring us over 300. The Costa Rica earthquake, we're not helping with that. Yeah. I forgot we have Costa Rica. It's one of our states. 
Uh, let's see, we are above 300 construction now. Let's see about increasing an institution maybe? Nope, can't quite do it. So what we will do is we'll come in here and we will swap the rest of these to standardized filing. And now maybe we can, yeah, we can get one of these in. I don't think we want colonial affairs now. I think we can track down the law enforcement and we'll put up home affairs because we are working on increasing the number of loyalists. And we will also want to increase education, but we're not gonna do that quite yet because we have to wait a little bit of a delay. But that will be the goal. So, we're getting this school finished. Ooh, we of course do want to be on philosophy department, which is gonna dramatically increase those. And we will, uh, no. Uh, I think we'll go, are either of these tier two techs that we need to research? I don't think they are. I believe they're both tier three techs and we will probably be going socialism, uh, but um, yeah, let's go. Socialism, dialectical materialism, oh, you love to see it. And now we are running a big negative. It is this number plus this number, so it's not quite as big as it looks. It's around 15k. Uh, but this is uh, also, you know, we hit a point, we've got around 300 construction, and it's somewhere between 200 and 500, and that I think you just love to slap down uh, enough to get the max economies of scale throughput bonus, which for us is 30 right now. Uh, but you notice uh, wages are a majority of this. And what throughput does is it increases the output, so this innovation is being increased by 50%. Uh, we're currently getting 20% from an event. Um, and it increases the input, which is paper. It doesn't increase wages. So with universities specifically, you really want to be pushing um, the economies of scale uh, as far as what you're doing. And look, we're just like, we're just deficit spending a little bit, a little bit of small ball. But for the most part, we're fine here, you know, and we're coming out with a ton more, uh, you know, tech uh, weekly innovation. We have 100 active innovation and then um, we also have overflow uh, that are that is going like so we get 50 base value and we are oh, 129 from the uni so we're overflowing it looks like the university is still uh, employing up so we're overflowing about 75 which is increasing our tech spread by quite a bit which is going to be a uh, big nice very big nice so for example baking powder is now being researched faster from the spread um, and so and then once we get onto shift work, we will increase the uni to 51. That'll probably be our first, uh, our first thing that we get from the production queue. But right now, I think we just want to push human rights. Probably, maybe it's not as important as I think it is here, actually, because we could just go shift work and get this level 51 uni. So let's do this into shift work, actually, and just prioritize this a little bit. I mean, we are running a pretty significant risk, actually. Because if our radical dies, it will be very difficult to pass multiculturalism. And we are concerned about our radical dying. Never mind, we're cowards. We're gonna take the low risk situation. We might even go ahead of time for the human rights. Yeah, actually, we don't really we don't really need quinine like immediately. We're just gonna go human rights, and we're gonna eat the inefficiency here. Um, just so we can try and make sure that we don't lose our radical. I think we'll take that one. Ionia wants a defensive pack? No way. We probably do want to be on dedicated police force now. We decreased law enforcement, so we got refunded a lot of this. Not quite enough to increase this, so we're going to come in here. Because we are getting some migrants, and we're going to bring this up. I think we have both of these on auto expand. They're expanding, but we don't have the employment here. We actually probably scooped up a lot of the employment here, which should make this attraction, migration attraction, real high. So it should solve itself, but it is eating to our economy in a different way. That's a little oblique. Uh, we will try and push economies of scale in some places though. So we're gonna take a look at what they have and we're gonna see if there's anything even remotely close to what our current cap is. Baking powder is nice. Big nice on the baking powder. Glassworks we can maybe push. This is somewhat close. So we'll push another five there. And we'll put on the baking powders. 
Yeah, we are in lose money mode, but this is fine. We're making money moves, is what I'm saying. Um, I think we will conclude this episode here, though. Um, big ups. We formed Byzantium. This was a lot of fun. Uh, we notably did not pass democracy first. We forgot all about last episode. This episode was about forming Byzantium. And I think that what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, not complete this uh, or not continue this run uh, in terms of playing uh, on videos. And I think we're going to save it for streams. And so we're going to try this, you know, transition where we do like the first beginning of the run on uh, episodes uh, and then transition to a stream and maybe go for some Mara Nostrum action. Let's just check the journal entry here and see if maybe uh, there's anything unique for Byzantium. It doesn't look like it. No, like Mara Nostrum. But we can just try and conquer all the Mediterranean to uh, coast. I almost said toast. Um, I think this is a fun goal, uh, perhaps. It will require us fighting Daddy at some point, but we'll, we'll annex Ottomans and we'll worry about that later. Uh, notably, they have we have a truce that's up in 73, uh, which should be the start of next episode, basically. So uh, tune in. Uh, hopefully this Saturday will be the stream. Uh, or that's the plan. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you did. It does help out. And have a good day.